Alright, so next up I'm going to continue by making the stack. <clears throat> this is the stack here. So I've got my train file opened up. I'm going to hit plus, create part studio. Uh, before I proceed any further, I'm going to take this part, it says part studio one, I'm going to right click on it and rename it to say stack. So that I know for future reference what it is. Uh, to do this part, there's a couple ways of doing it. Uh, but what we're going to do is use the offset plane function and the loft function to create this kind of sloped angle. The other way of doing it would be to take this object you see here and simply revolve it. All right, so our first step, I'm going to hit sketch on this plane. I'll go to my top view. I'm going to create this bottom diameter. Size of it is 0.5 my finished sketch. Again for my isometric view, I'm going to extrude this up that 0.25. All right, so I've got this bottom portion. From there I'm going to create another plane that is offset from my original plane here, offset 1.5. So here's my plane. I'm going to grab my original one. See how it's moving up, and I'm going to offset it again, 1.5. You can kind of see what's happened there. I've got this plane that's offset 1.5. I'm going to add my new sketch on there. Using that same center point, I'm going to create a circle. The size of that circle is 1.25. my finished sketch. Go to my isometric view. Let's see what I'm left with. Up here there's a tool called Loft. It's going to ask me to first select my profile and select where I want to move it to. You can see what it did. It gave me that sloped feature in my finished sketch. Alright, so at this point what I'm going to do is now extrude this up the extra quarter inch, right? So my overall is 1.75. This little segment here is 1.5. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude this circle going up 0.25. However, it's got a 15 degree slope to it. So I'm going to click draft. I want it to go the other way and type in 15. And you can see what I've got then. Right? By clicking this draft, it gave me a slope going in our 15 degrees. Right, so then from here what I'm going to do is add my new sketch on top. Circle from that same center point. I'm looking at this larger circle here is 0.875. Finish sketch. Go to my isometric view. Right, this gets extruded by removing it 0.375 and then have another circle inside there. The size of this circle is 0.375. Finish sketch. Go to my isometric view. I turn it just slightly. Right, so that circle here needs to go down 1.5. So I click my extrude, click my circle, remove, and I'm going to do 1.5. Hit my finished sketch, and there is our stack.